Welcome back, Rise Up 44 here on Alio Gaming, playing Live Lock on the PlayStation 4. Live Lock is developed by Took Games and published by Perfect World Entertainment. We're jumping right in. All right, create new chassis: Vanguard, rugged frontliner, absorb massive amounts of punishment while demolishing enemies at close range with specialized melee weapons. Vanguard leads from the front. Clash traits: unstoppable force and movable object. Select van. Oh boy. It's time to put my training to work. Catalyst, support specialist, dominate the battlefield with advanced combat drones and provide critical battlefield repairs. Catalyst is a versatile soldier and deadly support specialist. Clash traits, mother of drones, battlefield repairs. Hex, skilled marksman, punish enemies at range with pinpoint precision in hit and run tactics. tactics. Hex is a skilled marksman. Cold, calculating, and above all, deadly. Clash traits. Crack shot, plasma shields. Oh, wow. You know, we're just going to go at Vanguard because Vanguard was first. Alright, so. Start game, quick join, machine lab, progression. Let's go start game. Campaign mode. Or open protocol mode. Let's go campaign mode. One versus one machine online. Okay. Uh, I guess there's some kind of point leaderboard. Uh, easy, normal, hard. Let's go with easy. I mean, uh, normal. I'm sorry. Let's go with normal. Public, private, offline. Public. Uh, lock in. Just gonna go with whatever stock. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into right now, but that's kind of how I like it. So, going in blind is the way I like to play games. It's just, I don't know, I like to figure things out. Go with the flow. Once upon a time, we lived. I have seen my true face in the rubble a human face. Centuries ago, a burst of gamma rays crippled humanity. With ten years to prepare, a cataclysm that promised to eradicate all living things spiraled towards Earth. No organic life could survive, and so it was agreed. Humanity would have to evolve. The ancients uploaded their minds into machines, hoping to live on as artificial intellects. Three were chosen to go first. Called a few, a cyber athlete, a soldier, and a scientist. I'm done with this body. Let's go. Carpe diem. The only thing better than building a robot is becoming one. The mainline network is constructed, as in millions of human minds, broken into three clusters New York, Tokyo, Moscow, or in the aftermath of Cataclysm. And Eden was built, a sanctuary where organic life could be reborn. A human contingency project, a second chance. High in orbit, a super AI was placed to oversee transition. Satcom online. I promise that under my protection, humankind will not be harmed. The cataclysm was too strong. The data corrupted it. That's forgotten. In the chaos, capital intellects were lost, and the clusters fell into an endless cycle of warfare and destruction. For centuries, Satcom scoured wreckage for a savior. One who could conquer the warring clusters, restore corrupted intellects, and activate Eden. Destiny is calling intellect. And through you, humanity may rise yet again. Huh. Alright. Got the little base storyline, so... Let's see. <clears throat> Awaken intellect. 
Your long hibernation is finally over. Interesting graphics. Oh, really? My head. What happened? This is your home. I can't remember anything. Do not worry, intellect. Memory discontinuity is a common artifact of the love lock. For now, explore the facility and find a way to the surface. I will explain everything in due course. Trophy earned. Script kitty. Bronze PlayStation trophy. Trophy earned. Johnny 5. Bronze PlayStation trophy. I must have killed five spiders and <laughs> got a trophy for it. That's pretty cool. Six times destruction streak. R1 to perform a quick melee attack. Oh, that's like a dash. I like the camera angle. It works for a top-down game. Recharted bronze PlayStation trophy. Collect and spend carbon to upgrade your weapons. Uncover secret areas in each mission through exploration. There it is, intellect. The first encryption key to Eden. Eden is the hidden sanctuary of humanity. The location of Eden is hidden by an unbreakable Vernum encryption cipher. During the cataclysm, the encryption key was broken into four fragments. You must seek out the other machine clusters and collect the encryption key fragments. Only then can we return life to the planet's surface.
I thought like, maybe I could warp across that path, but I can't. That was a cool fight. Trophy earned. Scrapped. Bronze PlayStation Trophy. I'm racking up the trophies right now. This is awesome. Interesting. Mission complete. Leveling up will unlock additional functions for your loadout. Functions can be equipped in the lobby. Alright. Let's play another level. Four thousand eight hundred and ninety two. Each weapon handles differently. Try to choose the right tool for the job. Welcome back to the surface intellect. The surface has suffered a rebel damage. Much has changed during your long slumber. The mainline network, the very pinnacle of human evolution, was corrupted and shattered into separate clusters. The clusters grew in strength and now fight each other over resources in an endless war, threatening the very planet itself. Come, intellect. We must stop the rogue clusters before it is too late. some kind of flying thing. I wonder which way I gotta go. Do I go this way? Oh no, that might, must be the way I came from. <clears throat> Oh, look at the size of that car. So I'm a big giant. Wonder how big I am. I mean, compared to a car and a truck, I'm... I'm... Oh, okay, that puts it in perspective. Look at the oil tanker. Or whatever, milk tank, or whatever you want to call it. I'm huge. That's pretty cool. Take that, dude. Right through him. Oh, that's a piece of a jet or a plane? That's cool. Power lines just... That was cool. This game's pretty neat. Live lock. Good name. Hmm. 
Melee is definitely my style. I'll have to try out the other two characters, but... Trophy. Carbon Collector. Bronze PlayStation Trophy. One of these walls has got to be breakable. Maybe not. I am sending you the coordinates to an outpost nearby. It will appear on your command console. The outpost was attacked by the Abaddon cluster and knocked offline several years ago. Travel to the outpost and investigate its current status. Very well. I will proceed immediately. Alright, how are we gonna play this here? Oh, shoot! Dude, they don't stand a chance if I get within range. Come on, buddy. I'll bait you in. Oh, there is run. L3. Nice. I'm like walking slow this whole time. Machines attached to what used to be the North American cluster, reduced to logic's most primal form, they are very aggressive and highly chaotic. Destroy them before they destroy us all. Uh oh. Where'd he go? He just went, climbed the building. Where the heck did he just take off to? Okay, scrap heap, bronze PlayStation trophy, R2D2O, bronze PlayStation trophy, <laughs> two bronze PlayStation trophies in a row. Oh, C3, <laughs> C30PO, silver PlayStation trophy. They are just pouring in right now. This game is great for trophies alone. Overclocking temporarily boost your combat abilities. I should have grabbed that first, darn it. <laughs> now I know. If you see one of them pyramids, you go for that first. Nine times. Wish I could have got a ten times there. Excellent intellect. You have reached the outpost. The outpost was one of my many precious assets for data collection on the surface. Once back to sh I gotta get the ones that are shooting at me, dude. I'm taking damage. 
Overclock active. Uplink with the outpost core and assess the damage suffered from the Abaddon attack. Incoming transmission across all frequencies. It looks like we have their attention. Who dares set foot upon my service? a large Abaddon force. Protect the outpost core while the uplink is in progress. <laughs> the age of man is over. All that remains is ashes and rust. There is no escape in it. Jeez. <clears throat> dude sounds like an evil transformer, dude. Decepticon. Heck yeah, I took out that big guy quick. Oh no! What do I do? Oh boy, I'm back in. So you can come back into it, that's cool. I wish I would have been able to do that without dying. That's okay. That would have been really cool to do without dying, but it is what it is. Now I know what happens when you die. Alright. Mission complete. I'm pretty disappointed that I died there, but... So... That's the first two stages, or first two missions, of Live Lock on the PlayStation 4. Let's see here, what's next? Nine hundred and eighty-three thousand one hundred. Cool. So that's going to be it for my very first gameplay here with Live Lock on the PlayStation 4. As you can tell, I'm having a good time with it. Even though I only played a little bit of the story campaign with one of the characters that are unlocked from the beginning so far, it's it's definitely cool. Um, I'm playing the more tanky melee character, and it's it's powerful. He he feels very powerful, and I really like the story so far. It's kind of you know it's very sci-fi. Um, it's kind of got like a Transformers meets I don't know Destiny meets like. All these kind of different stories mixed together which is not a bad thing at all whatsoever um, I like that it's kind of like got a little bit of a touch of uh, Terminator involved in there if you will um, with the AI and and the you know the, the machines taken over and computers taken over and it's it's really interesting I, I'm, I'm definitely I'm gonna jump back in and and continue the story and, and see what happens. Please let me know in the comment section below what you guys think I should do next. Should I continue the story with this uh, this first character I started with? Or should I try one of the other characters before moving on? Please click that like button if you haven't already done so. And subscribe here on Alio Gaming. I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you guys next time. I see ya.